Our story starts, as stories often do, with the eruption of a massive volcano. But not just any volcano, but the largest in the whole of Australia, and in fact, the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. For this was the Tweed Volcano. However, we'll return to that story in a bit. For our adventure starts with a hike with a mate and his family across a section of a long extinct shield volcano, looking for a certain geological formation in the landscape caused by an eruption 23 million years ago from a huge volcano. And when I say huge, I mean huge. Caldera alone was 102 kilometers in diameter. In its prime, it would have been taller than the highest mountain in Australia. However, the part we are exploring is the outer edge the slopes of this peak. So, about over here on the map. The trail itself is seven kilometers there and back again, and is called Caves Track. It takes about two hours to complete and is a fairly easy walk. However, there are occasionally rock falls, particularly around the thing we were looking for. Now, back to our volcano story. The central vent of this volcano was present day Mount Warning. When the Tweed volcano erupted, it spewed out quite a lot of debris that splattered the surrounding countryside. This included gases, lava, rocks, and ash. Lots and lots and lots of ash, which buried the surrounding countryside in a thick blanket several kilometers deep at the time of the eruption. When this ash solidified, it formed a rock called Tuff. This is the thing we came to look at. Over millions and millions of years of exposure to wind and rain, the rock eroded away forming these caves and were used for thousands of years by the local Aboriginal people as shelters. Apparently, there are many other caves in this area. However, they have been all closed to the public. 23 million years ago, this was ash from a volcano. It's quite bizarre. This is tough, which is a part of the, the ash that fell from the, the volcano. You can crush it up in your hands. I mean, it's quite, oh, it's kind of fairly light, but it's also like a conglomerate of different types of other rock. You can, uh, but yeah, you can crush it in your hands. It's, it's not very strong. Quite an amazing place really. As I stood in the cool shade offered by this cave, I thought about how much gradual and yet dramatic change has happened in this area, and how much it is still changing now. The tuff extends all the way down the mountain, and how far beneath my feet I can never know. I thought about how terrifying it would have been during that eruption. For this eruption would have blotted out the sun for God knows how long. Apparently, some of the debris pushed out by this volcano ended up as far away as Nimbin in northern New South Wales. Try and picture in your mind how these green valleys and hills once looked like this. Quite amazing, isn't it? 